Hi everyone, in this video I want to share with you how to level plywood uh, subfloor for uh, laminate floor installation and let's go to start. So for uh, checking floor I am using a 10 feet straight edge. It's uh, show much more than you know short straight edge. So when you find high spot you just have to slide straight edge over and you can see the black, black marks which is showed you the highest points so and then take the pencil and mark around um, that um, black marks so this uh, area you have to grind down so for grind down uh, these humps i'm using floor edger you will see how it uh, nicely work check it few times be more precise uh, mark as much as you can uh, and uh, make it more visible because when you start sending it's a little uh, dusty and all places uh, should be more visible for you Before start grinding this hub down, you have to uh, check all uh, screws and nails. Uh, take the drill and screw down all screws in this area. Not much, but approximately quarter inch down. And if you need more, then you can do it later more. If uh, some screws are missing, uh, you feel like the uh, floor is mo moving a little bit you have to t uh, uh, put uh, more screws also when you screw it down you can feel like uh, screws pass the beam and uh, in this situation you have to take the screws out because sometimes screws uh, or nails are very uh, tight to the beam out outside the beam and when you walk over uh, the subfloor and then they attach uh, beam and make some noise so it like squeaks so just take it off and try to uh, put screws uh, exactly to the beam it's very important uh, to screw uh, subfloor in all your area where you want to do leveling or grinding so for floor installation uh, because uh, first of all it would uh, all squeaks from your floor and uh, also uh, if you uh, find some humps, maybe there is no screws and nails. When you screw it down, you your hump is uh, disappear. So just just uh, try to do it. Don't rush. Just uh, spend time for it uh, and uh, check uh, all nails, all holes what you have. Uh, it's really important. When I finish screwed out this area, uh, some nails come up uh, and uh, I just take the hammer and hit it, these nails down.
start the sending process from the uh, lowest point what you need to be done everywhere and uh, from side to side cut off this uh, hump don't send in hump from the just uh, from the top better start from the side it's more fast and easy to control for sending process you can't believe if you send down quarter inch sometimes how big volume of uh, concrete leveling compound or extra plywood pieces you can save for uh, leveling if you are not using this material you just take you know put money in your pocket uh, I hearing from many people uh, they said oh for laminate floor or for vinyl floor they need to do uh, good leveling uh, because it's cheap material and uh, so good leveling need for a more expensive job like for glue down uh, but I guess it's a big mistake because for glue down sometimes if uh, it's floor not really uh, even you can put some heavy stuff on top and uh, it's uh, glue it down and hold floor properly but if you don't do perfect level for uh, floor working floor for example for laminate floor for vinyl floor uh, every day when you walk over this floor you will, you will feel uh, how your floor is breathing up and down just uh, keep uh, these things in your mind okay this sanding is done and uh, now we save a lot of material for leveling so uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you on next video